It is one of the biggest topics of conversation so far in 2023, artificial intelligence, also known as AI. If you're unfamiliar, there are all sorts of new AI technologies like chat, GPT. They can do incredible things like allowing you to have almost human-like conversations with it. It can also answer complicated questions, plan vacations, write emails, essays, and a lot more. But there is a dark side. Jeffrey Hinton, known as the godfather of AI, left Google due to his concerns about the dangerous trajectory of AI development. He now says he regrets his life's work. Hinton warns that we may be unleashing something harmful into the world from misinformation to job losses and even threats to humanity. Speaking of which, a new report says these emerging technologies could lead to the loss of 14 million jobs. Some of the jobs most at risk include bank tellers, postal workers, cashiers, secretaries, and more. So what do you think of this new AI threat? And are we ready for this new world? And a quick note, portions of this script that I just read, written by AI. Mm. Yeah, dude. I, I'm really concerned about- take. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry. I'm concerned about um, people who have contributed things to society. The AI, there's a lot of great positive things to, right? Um, and we can get into that. But Mr. Hinton is saying that he left because of the dark side. Why are we developing technology without fail stops? Why are we do doing these things that can contribute to the possible demise of society? Correct. And you leave as opposed to trying to combat it? Like, who would be more appropriate? Well, who would combat it? Well, the developer. Why? Like, They're trying to make money. Well, but I'm saying, why come out and say that you're leaving Google because you developed this and you regret your life's work without putting things in place in order for it I think to. You know the question I always ask, did you give the money back? After he's got the money, he doesn't care. It's a whistleblower what? though in some respects, don't you think? After you've built it, how are you blowing the whistle on yourself? Because you built it not knowing that the usage not of knowing? it. Yeah, I mean, at some point, it's helping people discover lung cancer four years before they ever have a tumor. That's an enormously special thing. It's it's going to help lead us in scientific breakthroughs. Is it also going to distort the truth? Yeah. Is that a problem? So that, neg yeah. that negates those scientific breakthroughs. Does it? What if that's we your... We had a conversation about if masks were working two years ago. You're telling me you're going to be able to convince somebody about some new science? There's no way. Capitalism ruins everything. There is no way that this will be able to move forward with any kind of imposition because people will be able to make money without hiring people. People need health insurance. People need to stop and use the bathroom. The computer will not. This is over. This is over. Human beings are the redundancy in the system that is capitalism, and we are slowly being wiped away. I travel to LA every weekend. I don't see one person, Erica. I get my car from Avis on my app. I go straight through the airport. I do not need to swipe my thing. I go straight to my gate. I do not talk to anybody. I swipe my phone. I land, I get to the hotel. I'm already checked in with a digital key on my phone, and I go to my room. I have not seen a human being. And that's concerning to you? It's, oh, it's, our entire system is, set up for people and we don't we're not necessary so yeah that's concerning to me